Oh, America is so big. You ever drive through Oklahoma so flat? <laughs> Uh, you got a convoy approaching fast. Step on it. Come on, come on, baby. Okay, I've been faster, please. Lexi! Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Engaging defensive measure. Is that Bucky? Oh, oh, it's a winter soldier. That guy is so cool. fights that happened exactly here where you're standing. I mean, the place wasn't cheap, but it's got good optics. Look at you. You are all so adorable. It's shit, Valentina. The sign of this, oh, wait, hang on. Sign of this complete. What kind of super serum did you get? I don't know, regular. Hydra. Hydra? Oh, that's it. Who's this old Santa? The Red Guardian. What? Everyone here has done bad things. Shadow of Contract kills. And you, former Red Room assassin. God only knows the blood on your hands. Pretty ludicrous coming from the dime store Captain America. Well, that you know is actually the official Captain America, so. <laughs> yeah, for like two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting so tense in here. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Bob. Just do this thing. And we don't have purpose. We can't escape the past. So you can either do something about it now. Or ruin it for us. So what, we all just punch and shoot? Can't call ourselves that. Thank God. The Thunderbolts. It's a cool name. You asked for me. Here I am. You want to help me? Is there anything you remember? Ladies and gentlemen. Can't 
trust anyone. Nothing about this feels right. Captain America, you ever ask yourself who's playing who? Someone's been pulling the strings on everything. You're under arrest. I don't want a variable out there that I can't control. Stop. Captain America caught without his wings. You'd like to play dress up and blindly execute the state's orders. Because this is a trap. You don't even know what this is. Where were they, Brad? You want me? Come and get me! Well, MCU fans, we really need to talk about those two trailers. First of all, the Thunderbolts. First of all, who's in charge of scheduling over at the MCU? Because I am shocked to my core that Captain America New World Order is being released in February, while the less anticipated movie, the Thunderbolts, has got a peak release date of May. I'm going to assume that this is the order of the storytelling and one complements the other. But despite that, I think you, you, you would have been better off if, if things weren't going to continue. And obviously the story is going to continue from Thunderbolts, from Captain America New World Order to Thunderbolts. And that's the reason for it. But still, Thunderbolts isn't a hugely anticipated movie. As I was watching that trailer, I was asking myself, who's actually going to see this? Who asked for this? Nobody. The reality is, Thunderbolts is a poor man's suicide squad. And when you look at the selection of characters, I suppose, apart from Bucky, and I like Red Guardian, I think David Harbour does a really good job as that character as well. But as for the rest of them, they're not that interesting. And I don't see who's coming to watch this movie in May. I expect, I expect the Thunderbolts not to make a lot of money. Now, in terms of the movie, in terms of the trailer that we just saw, there's some great action. There's some solid gags there. It's interesting. Uh, you know, I love the kind of, uh, you know, I love the, not the camaraderie, but the banter between the characters, I suppose, is solid at the very least. What we're seeing here is a streaming movie. I'm sorry, this is not a cinematic movie. This movie should have been released, should have been made for streaming. But I'll give you one better. Maybe Thunderbolts shouldn't exist at all, in my opinion. So I think I would go to see this film, I think I would kind of solidly enjoy it, but I'd never want to see it again. There's no re repeatability, it's not very exciting. But as I say, I believe that the Thunderbolts and Captain America New World Order are part of a similar, you know, a similar beat, a similar thread. This is part of the MCU that is connected. And there's not much about the MCU that seems very connected these days. This is kind of part of the old regime, if you like. There's a new plan. Now, let's move over to Captain America New World Order. Now, I'm one of the few people who enjoyed Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I thought it was interesting. I thought it was cool. Obviously, the identity politics was slightly problematic, but I wasn't that bothered about it. And I thought it was a solid series at best but it was okay. And I'm not triggered by the new Captain America, which is Falcon. I don't have an issue with a version of Captain America being Falcon because in the comics, Falcon is Captain America. And I don't know if Falcon's a black man 
in the Marvel comics because I don't know the Marvel comics so well. Get down in the comments and let me know about that. But I have no issue. Now, I don't know why Chris Evans moved on as Captain America. I don't know if it was a career choice, if it was a Kevin Feige choice. It's interesting. But this looks like a proper cinematic movie. I think there's things in this, in this film we haven't seen in a couple of the trailers. I think this is an interesting film. I think this film will definitely make solid box office, maybe 600, 700 million, if they're lucky. I, I don't see this as a billion dollar movie. I think those days have passed for the MCU. Maybe Fantastic Four will do better business. If I was to ask you, why would people go to the cinema to go and watch Captain America, New World Order, we'd all have the same reply, Red Hulk. The CG for him looks outstanding. Harrison Ford as this brand new president, this war president, looks really compelling. Look, Harrison Ford has decided to make movies for money now. You know, maybe he's trying to raise some money for his family before he passes away. Who knows? But at the end of the day, it's got Harrison Ford in it. He's one of the greatest movie stars who ever lived. I don't care about his politics. I don't care what he's got to say. I don't care that he's defending current MCU. He works for them. He would do, wouldn't he? But having him in this film can only be a plus. And out of both these films, I'm more excited for Captain America New World Order. I think that will be an awesome and epic solid movie but I do worry about the Thunderbolts. What did you think of the Thunderbolts trailer and the Captain America New World Order trailer?